sheets and all these praisings are immense reality in which they are all meant to contemplate and use the heart and nothing is as it appears. Not a single word that these awliyaullah wrote is what the surface would understand. It means even in this way of marifa that recitation was asking the bird and the nightingale, the bulbul, the, the singing bird represents the souls of the students. We said before that have a heart like a bird Prophet was describing. Didn't, didn't say come like a bear but have a heart like a bird. Means brain small, heart big. Because with that heart they fly. And the bulbul, this nightingale, it has a beatific singing and beatific praising. And in this way of marifa, that wali was asking the bird, What did you come for? You came for the water, being the, the sustenance, the knowledges, the realities. Means even the intention in this way of marifa, they, they keep challenging, go higher with your intention. Maybe you came for one thing and your intention inshaAllah should always be elevating and going higher and higher. Most come to give their du'a answered because of hardship and difficulty in the world. And these only were asking that one praising and singing that you're like a bird in their presence. Are you coming for water? Are you coming for the knowledges? And that's when all the Allah began to teach, the Ya Rabbi I'm approaching you not for fear of your punishment and not for the promise of your paradise but I'm just coming for your Divinely face, your satisfaction to be upon me. That one and then the other one that they were reciting from the Urdu that talk about the houses of the drunken state. That either be the cup that receives this wine and this sharab which represents the Divinely knowledges from paradise. This nectar and sharab of the grapes is the realities of paradise that dress everything in this world of mulk. And these awliya were asking, why you don't just come, be like a cup to receive these knowledges. And then the next line, no, no, why don't you be like the flask that's pouring these knowledges. Means elevate your state, you came to be a student or a seeker of realities but no why don't you become from that reality so that one day you can give out those realities. Then says, no, no even higher, why don't you become the actual sharab? Not the glass and not the pitcher but become the knowledge. Means be lost in the reality. Our life is not just you came to Islam and you, you accomplish the whole world. There's maqam al-iman, Islam is, is the lowest state in which you merely accept it to submit yourself. And Islam is not an Arabic only phrase, it's a state in which you submit your will to the will of Allah God Almighty. And thy kingdom come, thy will be done that Allah God Almighty's kingdom must be accomplished upon the servant in this material world. And that's Islam, to submit. There's a maqam al-iman in which to believe and they begin to teach at that understanding Allah is love and love is Allah hmm. It's very simple, God is love and love is Allah One whom is devoid of love is devoid of Allah It has to be based on love and muhabbat. From that love and that iman become a state of moral excellence. For that which you love loves you if your love is sincere and begins to test you with everything that you have. You're loving those more than the Divine and that's why the mushkilat and all the testings in life. That which Allah tests you with 
to see are you in love with that or with me? Walk away from that and you'll always be with me. Walk away from everything that you think you want. Walk away from everything that you think you fear. And you won't walk alone but Allah will be with you. Means they enter into a state of muhabbat and love in which Allah loves them and they love Allah and everything other than that has to be moved away to be tested, to be shattered. And maqam al ihsan is to worship Allah in a state in which they witness Allah they witness the Divine in everything. And then these naat and these salawats and these praisings we begin to understand the extent of that love that they had and the dialogue in which they had. And only through difficulty can the softness and the servant become soft. For when everything is good in your life, no you don't really understand then why the shaykhs are crying when they talk. But if they pound you a couple times then you cry with them. Nothing like a good pounding in life and then you be sitting on your sajada crying too. And difficulty visits the home to bring the softness of Allah When the difficulty comes to the doorbell and start ringing means now Allah's Ghashya is coming, that in which is going to soften the heart of the servant. Because when difficulty doesn't knock on the door, the servant becomes a state of ghafil heedlessness. You're focusing on all the wrong things. Keep pray for this, pray for this, pray for this, pray for this. None of those of which were important. Pray for this, pray for this, pray for this. It's like the guy who went to Mawlana and said, pray Mawlana I want gas because he owned a gas station. But if you didn't know that then you would have got a du'a and, and left with difficulties. <laughs> but Mawlana often talked about that you're going and asking from Divinely Presence, forget about the shaykhs if people don't believe, you're going to Divinely Presence, what are you asking for? Why aren't you asking for faith? Why aren't you asking for a heart that has, has a love and sincerity, a heart that filled with ishq and muhabbat, increase me in the love of Sayyidina Muhammad not my business, not my rizq, not nothing. Then Allah send difficulty to the door that I'm here to soften your heart. And he stays as an occupant within the home continuously softening. For the day when he goes the hearts become heedless and they are thinking of things that you can't imagine, that won't help them in the grave, won't help them to draw close. And then you see and we understand Allah's immense rahmah. When He loves the servant that guest is always with them, continuously making them to cry, continuously putting them into hardship continuously making no ease in this world. Not a moment they can breathe without an invading force coming, a difficulty coming, something collapsing, something crushing. From every direction there's no ease. So that they sit, they cry and they connect their heart and say, Ya Rabbi it's all finished, let it all go. I want nothing but Your Divinely Presence, I'm going to lie down tonight and I'm dead. I put my head to bed for if I should die tonight I pray for you my soul to take. There's a prayer? What's the prayer that the people make? Allahumma inni a'udhu bika min al -khub. No the English one. <laughs> <laughs> they put their head at night and say, Ya Rabbi if I'm gonna go I pray you take my soul. I'm finished. This world is, uh, is, is lost its flavor and its touch. All the toys you, gef you gave to me to entertain me, 
I'm sick of those two. I'm ready to go. Then we understand that when, when Allah loves, their lives are in difficulty, lives are in difficulty. And the difficulty wasn't meant to be focused on and, oh, why have difficulty, why have difficulty? No, Allah loves you. Allah loves you. Now use your difficulty to connect with them. Use your difficulty to fall in love with Sayyidina Muhammad and say that, I want nothing from this world, I just want your presence. Grant me your nazar in your holy face. Let me to have a blessed dream of you, a vision of you, a khashf and a, and a reality of your presence. Let me just hold your jubba and hold your holy sandals and then this pounding in life is not so bad. If Allah wants to pound and grant the, the holy face of Sayyidina Muhammad then let the pounding begin. But if it's just difficulty and you're in darkness then yes it can be extremely sad. So when Allah inspires those who tune in, those who sit in, those who watch and listen via internet or whatever modality is reaching to them, there's something to be learned otherwise Allah would have inspired you to a thousand different channels. But what He wants from that one whom's tuning in is learn how to contemplate, learn how to connect your heart. These are specialists in that reality, they'll teach you how to think of yourself as nothing, sit and meditate and ask that you're in the presence of Rosa Sharif in Medina, in the presence of the Holy Kaaba, that I'm nothing, I'm nothing Ya Rabbi, let me to be in your light, let me to be in that ishq and in that love, fill me with their light, fill me with their love. And that's why then they begin to teach. That's why these nights are so powerful and so holy because we know how weak we are. But with this blessed soul of Sayyidatina Fatima Tazari Salaam, her immense love for Sayyidina Muhammad and Prophet immense love for her. Of course she is with us tonight, of course her nazar is upon us tonight. Every type of love and dressing and blessing for all those sitting to remember their beloved souls tonight and every night. All we have to do is when we begin to recite, that is now the nightingales, these, uh, these bulbul, these, these birds are now reciting. And what more beautiful than these souls that get together and they begin to make these praisings and these emanations. And that opens this state of love and muhabbat, this opens that state of nearness. Not the people who think they get there by their actions, then let's come together and, and give tafsir of Holy Qur'an, let's come together give dars of Qur'an, let's come together and, and talk about 50 hadiths none of which we follow. Those alhamdulillah all great, that improve your, your understanding. But if you want to reach to their presence faster than the blink of your eye, then sit and praise upon Allah Make durood al-sharif and salawat upon Sayyidina Muhammad it's beyond all the doors of studying and knowledges. It's the way of ishq like a bird, as soon as we begin to praise, their attention is upon our souls, their nazar upon, their dress and blessing becomes upon us. We pray that Allah always inspire us to be within the circles of praising, the circles of muhabbat and love and that Allah is love and that we have an immense love for Allah and that Allah dress us from that love, bless us with that love and make every difficulty to become beautific and sweet. With that immense love Allah can make every difficulty to become sweet inshaAllah. Anyone else you say, okay well that's you know somebody, whoever that they suffered but these holy souls of the king of the created universe and the difficulty of their life that put everybody who complains to shame, the difficulty in which they endured of their life, of what they gave to this nation 
and the nation in return slaughtered her children. And it leaves the other madhabs, they don't want to talk about it so that it's not a reminder in our lives. And they say, no we don't need to, to mention these things but this brings the softness in our heart and the understanding of our belief that when these noble souls suffered and these noble souls they gave their life, their way, their children, everything for the love of Sayyidina Muhammad and they saw nothing but difficulty. They saw nothing but difficulty, what visions and what knowledges they had and what Allah showed them. It was not something that happened without their seeing, Power, more powerful than all awliyaullah. Lights of awliyaullah are coming from their souls, from their reality. What Allah must have showed them of your generations, your children and grandchildren, how much they would suffer, how much they would suffer not at the hands of others but at the hands of Muslims. And for them that was, no problem Ya Rabbi, if this is what you have written and this is what Sayyidina Muhammad has authorized and accepted, then we are samina wa we hear and we obey means it gives the sweetness of our life every time we complain, every time we think we're the only one oppressed, we're the only one in difficulty, we're the only one looking at hardship. And then we say, okay, no because of the birthday, because of the urs, because of wiladats and birthdays, it forces us to remember their lives continuously. And that their nazar be upon us, um, you whom suffered so much for your belief and you have an immense credit with Allah Grant us a relief, grant us a najat, grant us an opening for those whom are trapped, grant an opening for those whom are sick, grant a healing for those whom are difficulty, grant this love and muhabbat. For if you should go to Sayyidina Muhammad and ask on our behalf, no doubt Prophet will accept, take our case to Prophet Take our difficulties to Prophet I say, we offer this water, this tea, some cookies and food that remember us on Yawmul Mashar, on a day in which nobody remembers anyone, that we gathered for your birth. Every, every aspect of love is going to be remembered. They see even the, and only Allah speak, even the ant that took a fire when he saw the fire of Nimrah trying to burn Sayyidina Ibrahim and the awliya saw, saw this little ant taking a drop of water, he couldn't even get close enough to throw it. By the time he threw it, it already had evaporated. Why are you doing that? He said, how can I see this fire and I don't do anything to put it out? means even the weight of a mustard seed will be rewarded. Mm -hmm. How they can say that they saw us with this love, with this ishq, with all these difficulties, all these sicknesses, all these things that are going to be opening that for the sake of this love that watch over us. If we're to go, we're going to go, no problem, nobody stays here forever but give us a good ending. Ameen. That you Ameen. greet us in the qabr, that you are happy with us. Ameen. That the cake counted, the food counted, the water counted. We have no salah to impress anyone, zakah with shaking hands, fasting with complaining while in air conditioned homes that I'm hungry. We only have our muhabbat that we can polish our love to make it sincere. That we brought a cake, we brought a water, we brought ourselves, we taught our children, we did our best to show our love. That your nazar, your khirka to dress us, that cover us with that. Dress us from the lights of Holy Qur'an, Ya Al-Batul, Allahu Al-Khaliq, Bahaqqa Sayyidina Fatima Salam. But the secret in which you put into that holy soul for the reality of every creation that is appearing, dress us from those lights, dress us from those blessings. 
By means of that love let us to draw near to Sayyidina Muhammad Welcome to Muhammadan Way YouTube channel, your premier destination for videos on Sufi spirituality, classical Islamic teachings and realities of the soul. With a library of over a thousand videos and new titles uploaded weekly, join us to discover true meaning and inner peace in our often troubled world. Click the link now to subscribe.